screen coming through at the same time as septum. Uh, it's just not that good of an idea. Also, they removed uh, a track at Paoli, so that creates a bottleneck if you get two trains trying to head west past uh, Paoli, because uh, once you get past Paoli and Malvern, it's single track, so if you have an, even, even though Amtrak's going high speed, he's stopping at Exton, which is a couple miles from Malvern, which means that SEPTA would be running on approaches into Fraser Yard. So, it's very complicated ever since they removed that double track. It used to be double tracked to, uh, through Paoli, past Paoli, actually, uh, and then out to Malvern Exton before it was only three tracks. He's leaving now. Next stop is Marion. Amtrak 643 likely will show up first because this is an Amtrak owned line as far as Harrisburg. Got a lot of concrete ties here. Wonder if uh, that concrete tie machine, they're going to be coming out and replacing these train ties. They do look in pretty bad shape. As this line used to see before coronavirus, 100 trains a day, mostly of SEPTA. But that stopped. They're still going every half hour, though. Uh, which is good. Amtrak. Uh, this is, the, the Amtraks do stop at Ardmore. This particular one, 643, is not. Uh, he's going straight to Paoli before he's stopping. Uh, then it's Paoli, Exton, Downingtown, Coastville, Parksburg, Lancaster, Mount Elizabethtown, Middletown, and Harrisburg. He will pass... Stroudsburg Railroad between Parksburg and Lancaster stations. That's the farthest distance between stations on the Keystone Quarter. Uh, it's about 20 minutes. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful ride, especially if you're coming in from the airport. I would highly suggest this. Take the airport train uh, from whatever terminal you're going to, go to 30th Street, get off, go to the ticket machine for Amtrak, and get a... Uh, ticket for Amtrak to Lancaster um, and it's one of the most beautiful rides I've ever been on. You get to see uh, the change from urban area like the one I'm standing in right now with the apartments in the background to literally all farm cattle. It's really really pretty. Again 643 is stopping in Ioli, Exton, Downingtown, Coatesville, Parksburg, Lancaster, Mount Joy, Elizabethtown, Middletown, and Harrisburg. We have 648 coming east. He's due at 30th and 1141, so he'll be passing here at about 1130. He, he will be on the inside track, likely. Or the outside, he could be on either. That's hard to know because even though he's coming east, there's still that bottleneck at Malvern. So unless they hold stepped up at Bryn Mawr and let him cross over or do something like that I think they're going to have to throw him on the local track they tend to use the express for high priority trains like uh, 43 643 is not that high of a priority likely because he's only going to Harrisburg and he's making local stops at least Amtrak stops so it's not, it's not if, if you had somebody like 645 who literally only made like five stops. That's a pretty high priority train. So they might throw him on the express track and then uh, curve him into the single track in Paoli. I know a lot about how Amtrak uh, switches their trains here because I see them a lot. Oh, I hear a horn. Sounded like a P-42 horn. Uh, that sounds like Amtrak. If that's a P-42, it might be leading one of those Acela trains and put 643 behind it. Also, they got a really loud horn. 
If I can hear that all the way down in Overbrook, Overbrook's a good three or four miles from here. So if I can hear that, he's got a really loud horn. So we'll, we'll see. He's close. I did hear him hop. I don't know what he's honking for, but unless there's uh, somebody trespassing, which there was somebody killed here. Guys, just please use the underpass. It's, ve it's very easy, uh, and it will save you a life. It really will. Trains are so quiet nowadays, especially these high-speed Amtrak trains. Here we go. Uh, you don't. You don't really know. Uh, when it's coming. Up oh, here he is! And it is 643. He's got a cab car on the front. And he's got his ditch lights flashing, so it was his horn. And yep, he's on the inside track. Except it's gonna be behind him. Honk your horns! Next stop is Payola, excellent through. He blared that horn in my face, just the way I like it. All right, now, that septa train uh, should be behind him. He's, he is probably between 30th Street and Overbrook right now. So yeah, as I was saying, that is 643. His next stop is uh, Paoli. Great, great engineer. Even though he only did one blast, he laid it, laid on it as loud as he could. Uh, and in that, in my book, that's what you call a horn show. It doesn't need to be 25 little toots. It can, it could be that. It can just be one really loud horn blast. And especially going that fast, 95 miles an hour at the speed he was going. That's definitely a horn show. Because he could have easily not seen me. Alright, so... Probably when that Amtrak 643 gets to Bryn Mawr interlocking, we will see... Uh, this outbound SEPTA train come into our view. And between 11, the, the 12 o'clock SEPTA train heading into Philly, that is likely going to be delayed if this Amtrak gets in the way. I don't know if it will get in the way, but I'm just going to do one, uh, one long video. So you can uh, hear me talk because I know my voice is very satisfying. That is amazing, though, that I heard him all the way down in Overbrook. If he honks in Bryn Mawr, oh, he should be in Bryn Mawr about now. Now, I don't know what their speed limit is here, but I've seen SEPTA Bombardier Express trains on the inside track. I've seen them go that fast through here, too. It's quite scary, actually. If you're, if you're handicapped and you're sitting there and you think it's your train, and it turns out it's one of those 95 mile an hour trains, that's quite scary. Well, ticket agent just came out. That's the ticket agent from Ardmore. I'm not sure what he's doing here. Okay. More to come when that SEPTA train shows up. 